Everybody, MD Polo here at a very, very noisy Rock USA in Carmel, and today a special Ed Brown. It's an Ed Brown custom. Take a look at it at the table. But I just wanted to get, take some shots. It is an awesome shooter, it really is. Uh, I just finished shooting the different. As it is, good or bad, let me show you the target. So if you go back and watch the, the Atlas of the you can see it's the other one right here. 45 ACP versus 9. Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at a 1911 and it is from Ed Brown and is a custom 1911 from 2018. That's when this was introduced, although this particular gun was made in 2021. As you can see, it's a beautiful 1911. This is chambered in 45 ACP, although you can get it in 9mm, stainless only. Or if you want it blued or stainless, you can get them in 38 Super or in 45 ACP. This is part of their exhibition series. And Ed Brown, at least as of 2022, is still a family-owned business. And I think that's pretty cool. If you, if you know something different, please let me know in the comments. Now, Ed Brown has a reputation for making fantastic 1911s, very high quality with a price to match. As you see it here, the price on this one, if you can find one, it's a limited run of a thousand, I believe. It goes for $3,995, so $4,000. So it's a completely custom high price 1911. It's a full size 1911 with a five inch barrel. And one of the things that is beautiful is not only the quality of the build, but you see this there this is one of the things that they're famous for in this gun is their skip line grip checkering which is absolutely beautiful you find it both in the, in the mainspring housing and up front of the grip and yes this gun has been safety checked we're using wilson combat grips and it's got double diamond coca bolo grips now, I hope the video quality is going to come through okay. The, my camera stopped working. And I haven't had a chance to figure out what's wrong with it, so I'm doing this on my phone. So bear with me on that. You can see a completely mirror polish on the finish of the slide. Very useful serrations. You see serrations along the top of the slide as well. Looking into the sights, we've got the gold bead in the front and of course they're dovetailed so if you wanted to for some reason change them you can the rear it is black serrated at the rear and fully adjustable since we're back here you can also see that it's a skeletonized hammer and is serrated and this is where you start to see as well the quality of the 19 of this 1911 you've got 40 lines per inch serrations in the back of the slide and you can see just the fit in the fit how everything mates together is just superb as i run my finger through it across it i'm sorry you just don't feel the transitions from different surfaces it is like just like it feels here, the smooth, you feel it the same here. You can see also where the extractor fits. And it's just perfect. 
gorgeous work as we look into the grip safety here it's very responsive very very little play side to side just nice and once again as you feel where the joints are you, there's just you don't feel them it's just perfect let me drop the mag as I told you it's been safety check that is YouTube a snap cap it's a fake bullet for to protection of the firing mechanism when it's not loaded I'm not sure if you can hear this it's just so so smooth one of the downsides of that mirror finish is that whatever you, you're going to start to see fingerprints all over the place and it's not there's no blemishes the gun, the gun is perfect you can see it here already but let me grab a little rag and just look at that absolutely gorgeous looking towards the bottom see how it's beveled and just like we saw in the other areas of the gun it, the work is just perfect you don't feel anything it just blends it's just a piece of work fantastic going over here you see that we have an extended mag, re mag release it works beautifully with the Wilson Combat mags and it just spits it out of there beautiful work 40 lines per inch, adjustable. So you can see here the work. It's a two piece guide rod system, so it's easy to disassemble. You can see here when we look at the bouncing around a little bit, but as we look at the sights, not only it's fully adjustable, but you see what low profile it, see, it sits very, very deep into the slide. I'll let you look at it a bit. And here you go. I'll take a look at the trigger now. skeletonized trigger got plenty of room here in the trigger guard there's no texture on the trigger guard but you don't need it with the grip texturing that you have let's go back to the trigger that's your take up right there so smooth and it goes now let's see that again that was your reset What a joy. As you saw in the shooting part of the video, uh, when I took it to the range, it's just a, a joy to shoot. Now, the handicap that I gave this, this gun is that I shot it right after the Atlas Athena. And that is just a whole different animal. Whole different animal. So probably I didn't give it a fair shot, a fair chance. And um, I shot it okay, but not up to what I'm used to. But the gun was a joy. It was not the fault of the gun. That was all me. But anyway, just wanted to give you a quick look. I want to thank my friend David. This is his Ed Brown. It's not mine. I wish it was, but it's not. But he's kind enough to lend it to me so I can bring it to you. Done a quick look. It's not a review. It's not even a first impressions. I just wanted to showcase it to you. It comes in a nice Ed Brown case so you can take some range back so I like that. All right my friends that is just a here it is quick look at the Ed Brown classic custom 
1911. If I didn't mention it earlier, this is part of their exhibition series. So please let me know what you think about this. Do you own any Ed Browns? Um, what do you think about this one? Do you own this one? I would look forward to your comments. This is my favorite part of doing this channel is my interaction with you guys down below. If you like what I do, please give me a like and a subscribe. YouTube tells me that about 85 to 90 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. And as YouTube throttles down gun content, one of the best ways you can do to help the channel is to like and subscribe. That helps the algorithm like everybody else tells you, but it's true. And that is one way you can get notified on when new content comes up if YouTube is not showing it to you. If YouTube decides not to show you my videos, you know, as a suggestion, the only way you're going to get notified of my videos if, is if you are subscribed. So that would help us a lot. I also upload uh, content over to Instagram, and there you can see what's coming down the pipeline to the channel way before it hits YouTube. So if you want to follow me there as well, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to reach 15,000 subscribers this year, and uh, you guys are making it possible. Thank you so much. I look forward to your comments, and until the next time, God bless.